And the tone for your speech, sir, can you tell us how the state I think it's unification. But on Twitter and in this fundraising email Monday, the president seems to be digging in not reaching out. He writes Tuesday's address will, quote, go down in history as the speech that saved America from a great humanitarian crisis at our southern border. White House advisor Kellyanne Conway. It is a challenge um, to all of us in this country when the president stands up and says, let's work together on X or Y or Z as he will tomorrow. The president himself has hinted he may declare a federal emergency during the speech, ordering the military to build the border wall, even if Congress refuses to fund the project. Meanwhile, House Democrats will try to grab some of the spotlight Tuesday. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will be seated behind President Trump. It's the first time a Democrat has sat in the Speaker's chair since 2010. Democrats have chosen former Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams to deliver a rebuttal to the president's remarks. I respect her. I don't know her. I haven't met her, but I hope she does a good job. Experts say the speech is likely to provide both parties a large platform to reach voters. An estimated 45 million people tuned in to last year's address. In Washington, I'm Mark Meredith.